Hello YouTube and welcome back. We're finally done building the drone. Um, I got a little package in today to finish it off. Everything is um, mounted, I tested it just on the bench to see if it's all spinning in the right direction and um, spinning up at the same time and everything. So um, I'm pretty sure she will fly. So um, at the end of the video we'll, we'll take a look at it, trying to get it uh, in the air. But for now um, I'm going to unpackage something. Um, it should be the uh, the uh, the video transmitter. So uh, that's the only thing still missing on it. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, yeah still pretty clean. And it's uh, pretty light as well. I'm gonna put it on the scale uh, in a couple of minutes. For now, I'm uh, going to unpack this, take a look at the box, in the bag, and then uh, we're gonna look what we're gonna do from there. Probably uh, think some soldering because most of the times they have some standard cable with it, and you need to solder it. So let's uh, open this. Uh, I think it's the same, uh, same one as I already have. <laughs> it says here it's uh, SMA. Um, all my antennas are uh, reversed polarization SMA. So, uh, I'm <laughs> gonna take a look at this and uh, I think I have a cable which I can use but I'm not sure so we will have to uh, check it out ah and there's a antenna as well and I think it's just no it's reverse polarization it's just SMA uh, I got RP SMA this is just SMA and it's 25 grams god damn it it's fucking heavy Sorry for the language, it's, a, it's super heavy, it's, I thought it was just lighter, but, whoa. I don't know if you guys can see it, but we're going to weigh it. It's 25 grams, and then the antenna needs to come, it's another 10 grams, some cable, yeah. 35, 36, 40 grams in total. Okay, we're gonna see uh, how we're gonna lighten that. I have some uh, antennas. So I can see. No, ha. They got it wrong. It says here on the box, it's SMA. I don't, I think you can't read it, but it says SMA connection, but it, it's not an SMA connection because the antennas I got are the same, I mean, they are RP SMA, so I think it's labeled wrong on the box. I, I thought I checked it when I bought it, that it's RP SMA, because all my antennas are for RP SMA. I do have a cable. That is SMA to SMA, so I could probably have done something with that, I think. No, I don't know. No, I can't do anything with it. I, I have no I have no antenna that will fit on this side. So I, I have no purpose for this cable. It's uh 
I, I think I ordered this wrong at one point. They were super cheap, like a dollar or something. And I ordered a couple of different ones, so I had a couple of lef um, them left. I think this is one of them. Uh, I can't do anything with it. For the cabling, I'm gonna check for the scale side. I'm gonna use it later for weighing the glue. It has some cardboard in it. I don't know what that is. Uh, who wants to know what it is? It's the boss cam. Um, the boss cam TS351. The 5.8 gigahertz wireless transmitter. Um, yeah, I had one before and it's, it's okay for the price. It was like, I, I don't know actually. I think it was like 14 or 15 US dollars uh, pre shipping. So. Yeah, for crashing it and bashing it, should be uh, all right. Uh, first things first, let's see if it will fit in here. I think I can fit it in there. Yeah, it fits between the posts. That's already something. It's a it's a really narrow frame, as you can see. Uh, yeah, it's gonna fit. really snug as well it's not gonna move anywhere put some zip ties on it and some double-sided tape to fix it in here and put, I put two layers of double-sided tape uh, for a little bit of vibration uh, yeah to cancel out the, the vibration I, um, I need to check out a lot of vibration in this, in this motor set I don't know what's the problem about it um, we're gonna talk about that in another video. For now, uh, let's wire up the cabling. Okay, let's walk. Luckily, I had one before with this model, so I know which one is what. The white and green cables on this one, they're for the audio. So, uh, audio left, audio right, if I'm not wrong. Um, so, don't comment. Uh, please comment on that when I'm, uh, when I'm wrong. But I thought these two were for the audio. You have your yellow cable, that's for your video signal. So, this is your signal for the video. And normally I think this is a camera, um, uh, the, the, the current for your camera. Uh, since I already have power on my camera, um, I can just, I don't, I don't have a need for it. So I'm probably gonna leave them, unplug them, pin them out, just get them out of the holder. Yeah. Why does it Get out, you bastards. That's stuck in there. Yeah, yeah it's uh, really stuck in there. Need to get a tool to get it out. It's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah I'm got, just gonna stick them out. When I need them, I will. I, I can always put them back, but I don't think I'll need them. I probably only have the use of these two. The only the one, only the yellow. It's gonna be fine. Um, so I'm just gonna push the pins down. Just to be sure, I need to put them back. Just make a writing of it. Top side. Green. Yeah. Oh. 
just uh, I just wrote it down real quickly for when I uh, when I do need to add some cables. I uh, still have them. So voila, one cable left. It's, uh, it's gonna be, don't need to be that long. So alright, it's okay. I'm looking for a servo uh, servo cable because I have three nice pins over there. I want to use one cable, make a nice, nice and one custom made uh, cable over on it. I do have one, but it's quite long. I might need it for something else. So I do have a couple. Uh, I always use uh, when, I, when I break a servo or something, uh, or I uh, bust up a speed controller. I always take off the cables, and, and you can always reuse them for something uh, when you're working on a project like this. So never throw stuff away. You're actually throwing away money sometimes, most of the times. Most things can be reused. Check it. I can't find any better ones. I think I'm just gonna go with the silver wire that I have. So I can't find any any fast way. Complete length I'm gonna use. Yes. Something like this here. Yeah. Soldering iron already. Get some wire, some flux. Yeah. It's always handy to have something to hold it. So we're gonna play with some tools again. Tight. So when you stick it in, you need to get the tool to get it out. It's not handy. Oh, look at the dome. Nice. I think this would be the straight 12 volt input. Yeah. I have a 12 volt and a 5 volt back, so it should provide 12 volts. It depends. Uh, I'm gonna check it before I uh, install it, of course. So, not smart when you're not going to check it, check every move you do, so you don't burn out anything expensive. 
and another couple of grooms. Also, uh, I need to check pol uh, polarity, so uh, I need to check what's the ground and what's the positive wire. What does it matter to you? Because it's here, it's the ground on the outside and uh, the positive wire is in the middle, but I don't know what, what's on the board, so it says it should be the same, but always measure it. You never know what uh, the guys would have done in the factory. Welcome back. So, I had to open it up and look why I didn't get a signal. Um, I checked all the channels and still didn't get a signal. So, there was something going on in here, I guess. And I was right. Um, so, as you can see, I have two connections over here. One is for the camera, it says camera, and one is for the JTX. I, I suppose it's for you. Video receiver uh, transmitter. So um, I hooked it up. The positive and negative, they're indeed they're they're connected together, but the signal wire for the camera isn't. And um, there's a little jumper, and yeah, I, I didn't notice it. And yeah, there's, there's no building guide of it. So yeah, you need to figure it out while you're building it. Um, so I, I had to solder there, uh, solder the connection, and now it's giving the signal. So um, I can put everything back together, and we will test it out. Should do it like it's supposed to do now. Put the connection on the front already. Oh, well. Need to do this first. We're gonna screw in the board. see uh, it's, it's not the best quality of frame it's totally not wide and it's wobbly as hell it's annoying me but yeah, it's getting better when you screw it together so let's just do that make love life easier
Yeah, I don't put look at on the top screws because I check them before I go flying. And I get them out some of the times. I mean, you put lock out on them, you can have the problem that you just keep spinning and you just spin the whole bar with the lock nut underneath it. So it's going nowhere. tape on that one. As you can see also since it's not an even surface, it's better that you have a little bit more of foam. So it's giving more. Um, maybe a little bit too long. Cut this piece off. It's a really good one. It sticks to the scissor like. I don't know, like what? It's really sticky stuff. some bigger ones. for inwards and it's all because when you crash or you tumble then you're likely going to break off this antenna but with a little bit of <laughs> unfortunately not luck but bad luck uh, you can rip off your antenna and then your transmitter is ruined so I try to get a little bit more in board. It's not want to go because of the wiring. I'm gonna fix that. Adjusting this. Second battery strap. I I actually don't need it. Yeah, no, I get 
some trouble with my transmitter. I'm the receiver. I mean, the receiver is starting to do its cable thing. Okay, I don't like this, so it's probably it's not the best, but yeah. I like it as far as in, on the inside as possible, so I'm just going to put it over here, put the put the tie wrap underneath there. I could just use the zip tie, like I did with the, with the receiver, but yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think it looks neater. Uh, and I can take it off anytime I want it. So, get that strap back. So, I'm gonna strap it on, like so. Yeah, it's all a little bit fiddly. I probably have, shouldn't have done this this way I'm doing it now because I had the board off. It was way easier, of course, to do that. To do it with, uh, with the top laid off it would have been much easier. I'm just clumsy sometimes. I think it's going. Look at that. Looks neat, I think. Yeah, sorry, my uh, my light broke. It's I don't know something with it. Uh, I changed the bulb, but it didn't work. I need to get a new lamp. So the lighting is a little bit bad. Uh, okay, so we should be able to connect it up and try it out. And it's just, just hooking it up and let's go for it. Yeah, it would really be easier with the top laid off, but I'm not going to take it off now, I'm nearly there. But that's why they invented the pliers. So you can use them. Wow. Ten of sticks. So it should be functional. Let's take a look at what she does. So first things first, how much does it weigh? So it's completely build up actually. Uh, yeah. Nothing I want to add anymore. At least I'm not gonna add anything anymore. So hmm. it's, I don't know, it's quite heavy actually I think. 
Looks weird. I don't know if you can see it, but I think you can. Ha! I. It's my first measurement. 555 grams. <laughs> so 555. Five, five. It's a. Uh, it's a magic number. Nice. Five five four. Mm, I don't know. Maybe. Mm, five five five. Yeah, so it's uh, five hundred fifty-five grams uh, in total flying. Flying ready. So if I'm right, everything should work now. I didn't test it before. I only checked it when I had a straight connection. So voila! Now I get a signal. That's what we want. I get a lot of interference from my radio receiver. I think. No, it's probably the receiver. I don't know. Let's move the side. So it's not getting any better. I have some uh, really weird interference. The signal is even going away. So uh, I'm not sure what this is all about. But whoa, my signal is really uh, bad. Really bad. I, I, what's this? Take it off scale. Maybe that'll help. So it's free from everything. Yes. Hmm. I don't think you. Uh, or I don't recommend you should do this in the living room. So she runs. That's something. But my image—it's—it's uh, it's still, uh, it's still really bad. It's making a whole lot of interference. I don't know where it's coming from. It's, okay, it's getting—it's getting better now, but I don't know why. Hmm. I'm gonna change the uh, my antenna because I have the another antenna on it. I don't think it's such a good idea. So let's take a quick change of antennas. See if we get a better signal. Like this one. It should be the same one. Transmitter, it's, uh, it's something else. Uh, I get a really bad signal in here. It's not running hot or anything. I don't know, there's something jamming or something. I don't know what it is. Now it's okay. I still have a. Uh, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's something with my cables or something. Okay, so um, I was uh, interrupted, the camera stopped, the battery was uh, empty, uh, so sorry for that. But as, uh, as I was saying, I have some problems with signal, so um, I let everything cool down, so um, in case of it was getting hot or anything. Um, 
I'm gonna try it again now, but I'm not quite sure. I didn't change anything, so let's see what's uh, what's happening now. why it's so bad. It's, it's really interfering. I don't know what's wrong. I think it's a problem with the receiver. I don't know. I think it's one of my cables. As you can see, I have only snow on it. So, <laughs> that's not good. That's not a signal. I can't fly with that. I need to find where it's coming from because I can't have this happening when I'm flying. So, not something you want to have. Worry about when you're flying. It's not even so bad that I don't even get a signal, so um, I think there's something not to try. There's something wrong. I'm gonna check on the settings. Gotta change some pin settings on here. Why do I have a signal now? Out of nowhere I get a signal. It's really weird. The 
There's something wrong with the connection. There's no other way. I think there's something with this board. This power distribution board. This thing. I think it's not the best thing to have. Signal. Um, I just think it's something with uh I'm, I'm almost two hundred percent sure it's uh, it's something to do with the uh, power distribution board. The signal is probably getting interference or something, I don't know. Um, <laughs> what I'm gonna do is uh, gonna bridge them temporarily. So it's uh, just going to see if that's the problem. Stay tuned. I'm gonna take the pins out. It's really easy. So you just take something sharpie, uh, something small, and to lift it with the plastic lip that's holding the pin in, and slide it out. Same for that. Oh, Come on, it. Same thing. Let's spin. If you, uh, yeah, if you work with uh, Arduino. You probably have some uh, of these jumper cables, they're called. Uh, they're really handy <laughs> for model builds as well. They just slide into pins like that. So, what I can do now is just only give it power from the board, which shouldn't be a problem, I guess. And then run the signal through the jumper cable. I'm not such a fan of this uh, power distribution board. It's uh, not quite the handiest thing. It had some issues already during the build, so mm. I would recommend if you order one, order like two or three or so, so you can. Yeah, I wouldn't say ruin one, but. You have some spare boards when there's going something more wrong, uh, wrong in the in the build. Yeah, this Telco makes it a little tough. 
get a signal, uh, but it's, it's, it's really bad. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really bad. I, I, I don't know why it's so bad. It's, it's like 2.4, and then I have the lights. Maybe in the way, I don't know. It can be the problem of this. Is it one of my cables or something? Getting worse and worse now. This is getting pretty hot as well. It's already getting warm. I don't know how it's going to be after 10 minutes of flying, but. Yeah, the other one is getting. Was getting hot as well, so. I suppose they, they just get hot. I don't know what's... It can be the problem actually, because... It should be doing everything it should be doing. Something wrong. I'm, I'm not quite sure what, but there's something wrong. Uh, I can't figure out what it is. Um, this is something where I uh, should have to take a look at. Oh, okay, cool. Probably can't run it unless it's like this. No, it's still bad. Okay, I'm just gonna try something really simple, really basic. Just gonna try the camera and and the. Um, I'm going to try the, the camera and the, the uh, transmitter together, uh, but separately from the from the drone. So um, if there's something wrong with the drone, I'm just gonna make my own cable. Uh, straight to the camera and my own power supply to it. Uh, I'm gonna take that from the back that I have installed on there that came with the stupid idiots. Where is it for? Uh, it's going to be like this, it's gonna be the annoying one. Okay. So what I now have to do is a uh, servo cable, put this one in here. It's like, it's an, uh, a Y cable, so it's ideally for me to just hook up two jumper cables. I love this stuff. So you just hook it up to the negative and the positive. Oops, uh, it should be working. I like the ring.
It is working, as you can see, but it's not like it should be. There's indeed something wrong. It's uh, the signal is already gone. There's something wrong with it. It can't be my camera. It can be, but I tested it. So as you can see now, I have a perfectly clear image. It's like um, yeah, it's perfect, perfect clear. Um, so no interruptions or anything. So what I want to do now is uh, I'm going to take the power from the from the 12 volt back that's installed in here. Uh, that was the whole thing. See, it's, it's perfect image now. Um, I'm gonna take that power up there and I'm gonna power the camera and the the transmitter separately from that back. So I get a clean signal uh, from the back at 12 volts. I think that's the only thing. The only reason why uh, why I don't get a nice signal because there's so much interruption on the on the battery. I think there's so much noise. Probably I don't know. Uh, I do have a Team Black Sheep Discovery, and, and the power distribution board is working perfectly. So uh, I think it's. Um, it's on the cost with this. There's probably something wrong, or uh, maybe I did something wrong. Probably I did something wrong. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. Um, they didn't get a, give a manual with it. Uh, I looked it up on the internet um, and, and asked the guy where I purchased this from, but um, they said that uh, I could look it up at some Chinese website. Uh, I tried to look it up, but yeah, I couldn't make any sense of it, so uh, yeah, I don't know, I'm gonna plug this one in and yeah, as you can see it's, it's, it's running perfectly, yeah. I need to it, yeah. and I still get a perfect signal, so it's, 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 uh, there's something wrong with, uh, with the board, yeah, my transmitter and my receiver are getting a little bit warm now. Uh, but I, I know now what the problem is. So uh, I think uh, I'm gonna end this for today, and uh, I'm probably gonna come back tomorrow uh, when I finished everything off to show you guys. Uh, maybe a little test flight. I don't know. Uh, it's probably gonna rain tomorrow, so it's not the best weather the forecast. So we have to see. Um, that's all for tonight. I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow. Um, I do have the the body from the the tundra. We're gonna finish up. It's, it's completely dry now. Everything is pretty hardened, and there's a couple of filler layers I need to fill in, and then we can completely scrub everything smooth, and then I can go to respray it. So. But that's for the next uh, next couple of days. Uh, I'm gonna proceed on that. So for tonight, I'm calling it a day, and uh, I'm going uh, to bed. It's almost 
it's, you know, it's already quarter past 12. So, um, yeah, it's late enough. Gotta close down. Take that one out. Oh, uh, the most important thing the receiver and the transmitters are getting hot. Let's turn them off. So um, that's all for tonight, and uh, I will be coming back in the next episode uh, in a couple of days. Yes, see you later.